let me once again uh, congratulate all those involved in transforming this bold division into the beautiful reality that we are inaugurating today. In particular, I want to extend our special appreciation to Bill and Joyce Cummings for their generous support and personal involvement over many years. We are happy to have you here with us today. The same goes to Bill and the Melinda Gates and the Gates Foundation for their financial support for this project and their sustained advocacy for good health outcomes in Rwanda and around the world. Let me also say that Paul Farmer and the partners in health team, together with the Rwandan partners, have once again demonstrated that they follow through on their commitments and uh, get things done. <clears throat> Your efforts are raising the standard globally on equity in healthcare. Partners in health, known here as uh, Inshuti Muzima, has been an important part of Rwanda's journey to better health for many years. We work with institutions to provide high quality medical care in three hospitals, including the Utaro Cancer Center of Excellence, the, the next door, as well as dozens of health centers. Such as important is our collaboration on scientific research to measure the impact of health interventions and continually improve the care that our citizens receive. This new cutting edge university represents an additional investment in the human capital of Rwanda and our region. The name of the school, the University of Global Health Equity, tells us something critical about its mission. It is not just about producing highly skilled medical professionals, though that is, of course, the foundation. It is about first teaching students to put the human factor at the center of care. Hospitals don't treat diseases, they treat individual people, each in his or her social and cultural context. And second, emphasizing the importance of investing in and strengthening national health systems. Instilling those principles is essential for reducing the disparities in health outcomes, both within countries and among different regions. So we are proud to be associated with this institution, absolutely. Phase one is done and it is very well done. But we have more work to do and the government and the people of Rwanda are ready to keep working with you to sustain the momentum. 
There is a famous book, some of you, I'm sure, know about uh, a certain doctor. It is called Mountains Beyond Mountains. Based on a Haitian uh, proverb about how each achievement brings the next challenge into view. Each step forward builds our capacity to do more and better in the future. So we will keep climbing together. <laughs>